Okay, let's see here. I'm just gonna reload. Oh, and I'm live. Sweet. Hey, Kipper, welcome to the stream. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming by. I'm just gonna ooh. <clears throat> just gonna open up with some drinks. We sorry, that was noisy. <laughs> I feel like I can't really trust this novelty beer opener that I got. I'll probably just put that aside for just now. No, I'm just gonna wait for some folks to come by. And I'm still in the process of getting set up. In fact, let me get a, let me get set up right now. And by that I mean let me start my summer car. And I'm gonna start it in windowed at 128 by 720. Alright, let's see here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about this because I won't really be uh, easily able to see the chat and the uh, game at the same time. I might have to do a little bit of finagling. Shrink my dashboard for the stream. There we go. All right, that might work. Transition over to the mainstream window, and I think it might already be working. No? Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay. So I'll just try swapping between windows real quick. Okay, Keeper, welcome back. Alright, good to know. Uh, let me check and see how notifications are going so far. I'll probably put out the message over on uh, Twitter as well for folks that follow me there. That would be much appreciated, Tipe. I'm just having some drinks to warm up. Getting into that finished mindset. I just realized that I hit the record button at the same time as I hit the stream button, so uh, this will be interesting.
Oh, and of course, Lemmy is streaming right now as well. <laughs> Lemmy is streaming Bloodborne. I need to check out Lumi's streams at some point. He's he seems pretty chill. I've seen him stream Grand Theft Auto Five a few times. And yes, I mean that Lumi. The uh, the steel is heavier than feathers, Lumi. He's streaming Bloodborne. God damn it! I want Bloodborne, but I don't want to spend several hundred quid on a PS4. <laughs> okay, just checking messages. And thank you for the thank you for the reblog keep. Eh? <laughs> Come watch drinking drunken car building roguelike. That's basically what it is, although it doesn't have randomized levels. Not yet, anyways. So I could play Jalopy later. That'd be a uh, yeah. That would be a uh, fun kind of thing to goof about with. It's, yeah, the, the only thing that I can see that's roguelike about it is that it's got permadeath. Fair enough. God, now that's reminding me of uh, Cool Games Inc. playing about with the uh, ideas for games. Nick and Griffin just both, like, saying a word at the same time, like a buzzword at the same time, and then deciding a concept based on that. The very first one they came up with was social permadeath. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Just like, so what? Social power death. So if you die in the game, your social media account gets deleted for real. I have no idea. I'll close my dashboard and move over to just my regular stream page. Oop, oh, yep. Yeah. You get to hear me echo in just a second. Fun times. Say how long have I been streaming now? Almost 10 minutes. So. I'm going to guess that at some point, like probably 10 minutes into the stream, I will get started proper. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I can get started now. So... We're going to continue again, and I will show you my progress so far, and then I will see what I can do. I've actually been doing halfway decent. Um, I now have 4,614 marks, which is nice. Let's see, I'm pretty fatigued, but I have accomplished things. And by that, I mean, oops, let me just grab that. By that, I mean, I've managed to get the chassis onto my car, which means I can actually start like building it more proper. This was the, uh, this was the save from my uh, YouTube video of uh, my summer car. So I'm gonna shove this car, oop, not punch, I'm just good, like gently shove it further along. Alright, that should be good. And now I can access the underside of the car.
which includes the exhaust pipe, wherever the hell, <clears throat> wherever the hell I install that, and whatever direction I install that. Although I don't have the engine installed yet, so I'm probably gonna have to put that down for just now. Oh, I see a message in his chat. Give me just a sec. Uh, yeah, I actually just like uploaded the video a little bit earlier. Um, oh wait, no, the let me think. All right, like I uploaded the video yesterday, and I played a little bit more of it today. I think. Um, I my memory's shot to hell right now. <laughs> but yeah, I've been I've been doing some stuff. So I've gotten to the point of screwing in the. Let's see, screwing in the cylinder head on the engine. Let's get that opened up real quick. Try to remember what size this one needs. Nine? No, is it? Did I already tighten it in? No, I didn't. I may need to look up a guide, or I may need to ask viewers for help. Okay. 9 millimeters. 8 millimeters. Oh, no, didn't want to uninstall it. Let's see here. Nope, let me try the chat real quick. Yeah, there is a lot of fine detail in this game. Like I had to I had to put together and bolt in the entire chassis of the car. It was really fun actually. Like once I got it figured out, I'm just like, oh my god. Ah, oh, come on. Hang on a second, I'm gonna read a guide. Somebody chat with me. I need to Google it. <laughs> All right, see so here. I just need a little bit of a reminder of what I need to screw in here. Uh, cylinder head is seven millimeters. Okay. Come on. Seven. There we go. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Here I am, crouched on top of the fucking. This is crouched on top of the table, screwing things in. And if you're hearing that buzzing in the background, that is my stove warming up for my sauna. Which I should probably take eventually. Although, from what I understand, I actually need a third bottle of coolant, so I might be heading down around the shops for a little bit. Even though I've got a good stockpile of food. Oh, it's like a very, very faint buzzing. Although I have no idea how loud my game audio is. But if I just, like, head in there super quick. see here. Alright, I need to fill up my bucket with water. Water with heavy air quotes, because check this out. I think I mentioned this, uh, I think I showed this off already during a stream, but uh, it's my favourite thing about the uh, bucket of water in this game. Is that it completely defies physics. Like, I have no idea how hard finished water is, but it should not be that hard. Like, that is gelid. In Finland, they bathe with goo, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. Just 
to get myself cleaned up a little bit. I have a terrible aim with this fucking... There we go. <laughs> Water freezes very quickly in Finland. I mean, I'm able to scoop it out just fine, so, like, I'm inclined to believe that it's more... that it just sort of... congeals into some sort of weird gel. Okay. So that's me cleaned up for now. Looks like the sun might be setting on my little... Sleepy. No? No, it's still at midday. I might actually have time to uh, go back to the shop. I'll do that real quick. Of course, I've got a crate of beer in the van next to me. Okay, so buckle up. Ignition. There we go. I forgot to release the handbrake fully. A finished summer, the sun never set. No, it gets it gets crazy dark. Maybe I'm in like southern Finland or something like that, I don't know. Whatever whatever part of Finland like matches up laterally with uh, Scotland. <laughs> If that's even a thing. Okay. I'm always nervous about driving the van because it is very, very finicky. Speaking of, going off the road immediately. Slow down. Okay, I'm good. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I have no need to panic. Perfectly fine. Perfectly mortal, but perfectly fine. And of course, this is all being recorded, so it's going to be on YouTube eventually. So that should be fun. Oh, hey, Reactive. What's that? Uh, oh god. Off-road, off-road, off-road. This is why I don't like driving um, higher than first gear. Ah man, you're making me want soup now. My parents made the best fucking uh, golden vegetable soup. Uh, like uh, a couple days ago, and I still cannot get over how how good it was. Please don't tell me it's nighttime already. So, uh, Helsinki. At the same level as the Orkney Islands. The Orkney Islands are the ones that are west of Scotland, if I remember right. Shetland Islands are the ones that are like far north of Scotland, so like... Uh, same latitude as Orkney Islands would be... Run about the same, same latitude as me. I hope I'm getting the words latitude and... Oh, Shet... Yeah, Ch the Shetlands are like 200 miles north. Of uh, me. I think the Orkney Islands are to the west. Don't quote me on that. Um, a little bit of a secret. I'm actually very terrible at Scotland. I'm 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 terrible at being Scotland. <laughs> oh God! It's fucking wobbling about everywhere here. I should really be keeping an eye on them. Keep an eye on the road. As I said, driving in second gear on the country loads. Country lo country loads? Country roads. I haven't had that much beer, honest. I've only just halfway gotten through my uh, 
Oh my fucking god. I don't talk good drive well together, to, qu to quote uh, Maxwell Adams from the Freelance Astronauts. This country road is indeed a load. Yeah, I think that was one of my favorite Freelance Astronauts uh, quotes. Oh Jesus! I tipped over. Uh, I tipped over. Uh, fuck. That's not what I wanted. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I can't even climb out now. You know what? I'm gonna try quitting without saving and see if I can like fix it. I didn't get a whole lot done. This is why saving is good, even in mortal mode. Yeah, there we go. There's a van. There's a car. I won't spend nearly as much time puzzling over how to uh, screw in the cylinder head on the engine. So I'll do that and then I'll take a trip down to the shops and I'll probably take a different vehicle. Because the van, I cannot rely on the van. It is a very unreliable vehicle. It wobbles way too much. Uh, let's see, spanner seven. There we go. Yeah. We can, oh god! I just let my head through into the sauna. <laughs> Early access. So we got these tightened in. There we go. This part is really, really relaxing, just like getting all this sorted out. I am going to have to like constantly refer to guides and whatnot though. That much I know for sure. Alright, well that's that tightened down. So I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the truck, but I'm going to... Um... Out of honesty, uh, laziness. <laughs> I already have my uh, stream set up for... Uh, yeah, I already have OBS set up for uh, Picarto, and I honestly could not be arsed to uh, s like get everything set up for YouTube. Also, yes, I justified physics by phasing beer through the uh, side of the house, or through through the side of the, through the side of the truck, not the house. What the fuck am I talking about? All right. So the truck is actually infinitely more reliable than the van. Hopefully, they will. Uh, hopefully, the devs will make the van a little bit more stable. But for now, I'm taking the truck. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> My love for you is like a truck. Berserker. Do you want to making fuck berserker? Berserker. Did you just say making fuck? Um, I could, I could move over, I could move over to YouTube. Although I already advertised myself as being on Picaro. Um, huh. I guess we'll see how things go. But I will be recording this and uploading it on YouTube, so they will be able to watch it on YouTube after this is all done. Unfortunately, they won't be able to see the chance, so uh, I should probably be uh, describing what you guys are saying. Um, speaking of which, Reactive is reminded of something. Reminded of what Keeper just said. Wait, what? I'm confused.
Oh yeah, yeah. The you guys were watching Berserk outtakes, and I need to actually watch Berserk as an anime goes. You do know where the uh, "My Love for You is Like a Truck" thing comes from, from uh, originally, though, right? Because I I had no idea until like I looked into it a little bit more. It was apparently a clip from Clerks, I want to say. Yeah, it's a, it was a clip from yeah, it was it was from it was from Clerks. Like the guys were like doing a band thing or something like that. Yeah, they they were like they were like introducing somebody to like a member of their band. And uh <laughs> just like you know, so you know, uh sing the song you've been working on. As the guy just like <laughs> just yeah, just my love for you is like a truck berserker. Do you want to making fuck berserker? <laughs> Did he just say making fuck? Yeah, it's wild, right? <laughs> I've heard the newer berserk anime was actually really, really good. Like the, I guess, like the more recent one, but the like the original one was also really good. Man, I should join you guys for a rabbit stream again sometime. Oh, the new one's actually terrible? Oh, okay. Ooh, we'll blend again. Digi, bro. Ah, fair enough. Huh, wobble, wobble, oh god. <laughs> Again, as I, as I said, uh, Maxwell items from Freelance Astronauts. At one point when playing uh, GTA Vice City, uh, said of his own driving skills, I don't talk good drive well together. To which uh, his friend Pipes asked, in real life or in game? And he simply answered, yes. <laughs> and this is... This goes the same for me. My van... Yeah, my van needs less jiggles. The the truck is fine. The, tr the truck is okay. It does still jiggle a little bit, especially if I go off-road. But the van is way too jiggly. Good. Alright. Solved a conspiracy. There's like jiggle physics in here, almost beam ng level, but not wiggle. Yeah. Oh, all of the wiggles that are supposed to be in the sauna bucket ended up in the van. Thank you, uh, Keeper. That has solved that mystery. But yeah, um, the fact that I can more reliably drive above gear two in the truck compared to the van. Says something about the van more than the truck. Like, the truck is like beam NG levels of jiggle, but the van is like rigs of, rod, rigs of rods levels of jiggle. Anybody ever played rigs of rods? I played it a little bit. Like a few years back, and it was so fucking ridiculous. Maybe I should give that a look again. Alright, slow down, make sure nobody is... Ah oh, man, Rigs of Rods. It's... It's... It's something. It's like a it's like a precursor to BeamNG.Drive. That's all I can really describe it as, is like a... BeamNG.Drive's like ancient physics cousin. Like it's been on the go for years. Alright, onto the main roads. Crap, the beer's a little bit too far from, far away from me. I'm gonna pull over real quick. <laughs> there. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Enter driving mode. Get back into it. <laughs> I was sliding. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna very carefully manipulate this so that it will maybe tip over the- oh god! <laughs> Physics. Oh Jesus! Alright, we might have a little bit of an incident here. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yes, there are some hidden secrets off-road, actually. Uh, I should probably pick some of those up. Oh god, I'm just like sitting in the car, or sit sitting in the truck, at a very slight angle. I can do this. I can handle this. I can probably handle this. Oh, hi Lance. Welcome to the stream. And yes, this is the Finland simulator. So many different Finnish swears. Alright, I'm really here. I made it. I didn't die horribly in a car crash. And that's as as good as I can say from my driving skills. God, my beer ended up all the way to the other side of the fucking truck. That's okay, because I came down here for one thing and one thing only. Well, okay, two things. Okay, so I'm going to shift the beer case. Drop it conveniently behind myself. Uh, turn off the air conditioning just to be safe. So I'm going to feel up a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of needed to feel. So this is going to take some time, and it's also going to cost me a lot of marks. Or marka, sorry. This is 1995 Finland, so the currency is marka. I've got some notifications on my phone, I'll have to check them out. Exciting fueling action. Oh, okay. See so when you get back, Reactive. I'm gonna open up another beer in the meantime. There we go. I'll probably only fill it up to like halfway. Fuel tank on this thing is fucking huge. Almost halfway. All right, that should do it. Three hundred and ninety one marker. Fair enough. All right, I should probably replace the field camp. To screw that on. I still really like that, that you use like the mouse wheel to do something like that. Please be open. Alright, cool. Hey man. So I needed one bottle of brake fluid, or clutch and brake fluid, because uh, the tutorial I was looking at said you needed at least three bottles of that stuff. Yeah, 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 I know. 
I know time us. Or time on. Is it time on? I got no time on for your patience. Hey. And everything fits in this bag. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of gambling. Come on. I'll throw in one more coin. Just in case I get a good roll here. Yeah. I made a little bit of money. <laughs> I lost more than I gained, but still. I have no idea what the symbols are. They're like maybe political figures in Finland or something like that, or maybe they're the devs. I have no idea. Okay, carefully. There we go. By the way, I translated this one, or I translated this uh, Si Ainoa, and from what I understand, it basically means it is the only one, which just refers to the fact that this is the only shop in the entire game. Fun fact. All right, let's have a beer. Launch a beer bottle off, and away we go. All right, uh, gear up. I forgot to put my parking brake on. Ah, uh, well. Uh, there we go. Brazen finished littering. Listen, Tally, I'm, I, I could stop littering, but I'm trying to become a naturalized Finnish citizen. So this is something I've got to do, man. I've got to get arrested for littering at least once. I have no idea if that's actually a requirement for becoming a Finnish citizen, but, you know. Just in case. Might as well have another beer on the road. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I was trying to... Like, that wasn't, that wasn't me being drunk. That was just me being an idiot and trying to open the door while in mid-transit. I could have died, man. <laughs> Requirements to Finland. One, sauna. Two, join a death metal band. Three, tell Sweden to fuck off. Are those the three requirements, Keeper? I think that's what, that's what you're telling me. Uh, come on, gears. You can do it. Congratulations, you are now Finland. Man, I always wanted to be Finland. It's my country, Sona. God, that's a terrible joke to make. <laughs> what a fine land I am.
And I'm all tuckered out and everything as well. And it's raining. Let's turn on those wipers. We need to finish with the bet. Oh my god. Tell you, KP, you two stop. I mean, I I guess it's kind of a I, I guess it's kind of hypocritical for me to tell you guys to stop seeing as I pun very very frequently. Huh. That's a very fast dog that is able to keep up with my truck. I could just, yeah, I can still hear her barking, just like, as if it were, like, directly to my left. I'm very, very terrified of this dog now. This invisible dog that I cannot see. It's ran on again. Doppler barking. What? Uh, we... There we go. Nearly home. What the fuck? Something suddenly lurched me off the road. I have no idea what happened. Did I get rear-ended? Hmm? I figured it would have been that asshole in the green car, because he, he always does shit like that. Alright. It'll be a mystery to solve another time. And here we are, home stretch. Also, yes, I realize my fatigue bar is getting higher. But from what I understand, there's actually no real negative thing about having a lot of fatigue. But I will be going to sleep shortly anyways, so... I'll handle that as soon as I can. After I take care of my other needs.
million dollars here. Don't just pull my truck around this way. Parking brake, ignition off. All right. <clears throat> Fatigue is now a red bar. I'm just dump this beer case back in the van for just now. I forgot to take the gas canister out from last time as well, so let me just do that real quick. Oh, this is a diesel can. Okay, I did take the gas can out, but the diesel can is for the truck and the tractor and the van. All three of them need diesel. I've gotten these filled up at the petrol station. And last but not least, my shopping for the day. Huh, physics. Freaking jiggle bone ragdoll physics. Fun times. Let's just get this unpacked. Along with my other three crates of beer. Which are taking my table right now. Boom! Explodes into food and, food and everything. Let's go ahead and just put that up on here along with these other bottles that have mysteriously fallen over. Try and put them back up right again. Be a smart arse and try and balance that one once. Yeah, there we go. I'm very, very carefully arranging everything on my desk here. Okay, so now I have to take care of my needs. But I can close these doors now. The cheat, the cheaty way of dealing with thirst is to just like turn on the tap and drink it. And I take a massive whiz. Sorry about this. I'm a bit really surprised at how realistic they made this part because it's like. When it's not entirely empty, it like slows down a little bit and then you have to push a button again to force it out. It's like what the fuck? Who puts that much who puts that much fucking detail into peeing? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Realistic pissing physics. I know, right? Just... Okay. So unfortunately because the room has been so hot, the water in this bucket has evaporated, so I've got to close the door. The gelid water in this bucket, I should say. And I myself am a little bit tipsy in real life now because I've had a couple of laggers. I mean it's not exactly the same as having a couple of 5am saints, like, or a couple of innocent guns, but like. A couple of laggers will get me a little bit dizzy, but I'm still coherent enough to hopefully operate the sauna from a distance. Nope. <clears throat> I can do this. Nope. There we go. The fun thing is, sitting up on this top bench for some reason, like, very slowly reduces my dirtiness rating. I'm not entirely sure if it was intended or not. There we go. I'm all good to go. And 
unfortunately, the way the game saves right now, I cannot save the game and continue playing. I have to save and quit to the main menu and then hop back in. It skips time forward a couple hours, so I'm gonna have to save using the toilet. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Brad. Shush. Okay, and then continue. Time skips forward a couple hours. And that was actually very dark. Surprisingly so, actually. All right, it's time to sleep. It's now Friday. All right, I unplug my phone for reasons. Reasons mostly pertaining to I want to build stuff and not worry about having to do random odd jobs for people. Of course, I could go to the toilet again. As is usual after a good night's sleep. God. The amount of time I have to spend doing this shit. Alright. And we're good. Okay. So, working on the car, this is the point where I've kind of gotten a little bit stuck, I guess. Because I'm not 100% sure what I need to be doing. I do know I need to put in spark plugs next, so I can get that taken care of. But I will probably be referring back and forth to a guide as I do this. Tally, please. <laughs> the amount of time I spend doing this shit. But there's no shit meter. Only you're in. Apparently, apparently the, I, I don't know, maybe the devs decided that it would be too much. Or too gross. Or just like, too much work for the player to try and keep track of. Or maybe just finished people don't shit. I have no idea. <laughs> They're highly efficient. Alright. So that's that part done. Let's see. Thankfully, I do have the page up for the guide here. So, spark plugs. Rocker shaft goes in next. I believe. Yep. Rocker shaft is 8mm. I admit it would be a, more, a bit more fun for me to like just experiment, but I know like next to nothing about building cars, so I'm just sort of gradually learning. Okay, so that's a rocker shaft tent. Camshaft is two times five millimeters, so let's get that taken care of real quick. There's the camshaft. At the very least, know what the parts look like for the most part, I guess. So that's camshaft in. Camshaft gear is one ten millimeter, and this would be the camshaft gear here. Timing chain, that's this bit. Let's see here, timing cover is here.
timing cover is six millimeters. Okay. There we go. Uh, water pump is this. No, that's alternator. There's the water pump. And that requires seven millimeters. Hey, MF. Welcome to the stream. I'm very, very carefully putting together an engine. And by that I mean I'm doing so with reckless abandon and near intoxication. Uh, let's see here. Crankshaft pulley. So, where is that? Oh yeah, here it is. I'm just going to ignore the fact that it's like partly clipping. Thank you, Tally. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Crankshaft pulley. Water pump pulley. Uh, be this bit here. I think it mentioned 12 millimeters. Nope. 7 millimeters, okay. Let's see here, distributor. That'd be this thing. Where's this go? I have no idea where the distributor. I have no idea where the distributor goes. Distributor, distributor. Words. Check around the. Oh, there it goes. And it uses six millimeters. Wherever those get screwed down. Oh. There's one. Is it just the one? Yes, it is. In fact, while I'm in the middle of doing this, I'm actually going to be right back. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom myself. Won't be long. <clears throat> yes, Tally, I will take care of that. Also, I'm back. <laughs> okay. What could you guys actually see when I shift tap? Let me double check that. Oh, no, no. If you guys can actually, like, 
see me rampantly cheating. Apparently not. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alternator. One point one times seven millimeter, one point times ten millimeter, one to put on the carburetor. Uh so apparently the alternator is gonna be the really, really difficult bit. Okay, so... One times seven millimeter. He says that one times seven millimeter. Where's that go? Let's flip this upside down. Probably there. Almost got you. Maybe. I just think it's finicky. Let's just wait. Lean in a little bit further here. Where's the seven millimeter part of this? Wait, am I using it some more? Yes, I am. Hmm. I do like that I can sort of modify where the alternator goes on here. Like, just change the angle of it a little bit. Oh, I see the bit, but it's not lighting up for me. Hmm. Unless it needs an 8mm. Or a 6. Nope. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna keep going him here. So fan belt, I already picked up. I put it over here. If I can figure out how to. Hmm. Put the fan belt on before I tighten the alternator. Tighten the two bolts to secure the alternator and then adjust the belt tension. Okay. How do I take the fan belt out of the packaging? Oh, apply belt to engine complete packaging? Hmm, interesting. Well, 
Oh. I'm very, very confused right now. Like, I see where it's gotta go. But I'm not getting the tick that lets me put this there. Let me look it up real quick. Uh... Crank pulley, water pump pulley, and alternator. All right. Well, I have everything else done here. Wait, did I tighten on the? Am I missing some parts I need? Bolt on. I have no idea. Everything looks fine. Uh, Physics. Oh, hunger and thirst has gone up, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the kitchen for a quick snack. So chips tend to get my hunger all the way dealt with, and I just drink water to deal with the thirst. And welcome back, Reative. I'm having a little bit of frustration figuring out how to put the timing, or sorry, the the fan belt onto the car. Or onto the engine. Apparently, yes, I do just like slam the belt onto the car, engine, and all. But I'm probably missing a part somewhere here. Tighten the only screw in the alternator. Okay. Is it 10 millimeter? Oh, it is a 10 millimeter. Okay. Wait, no, that's not it. Ten, yeah, because that's one of the nuts. Uh, oh, I have to use a screwdriver first. There. Let's look around and see if I can find the screw for the. Oh, wait, it's this way, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Maybe. I'm still having trouble making it actually go. Come on. A hand has been appearing on the alternator, but I can't seem to make it do anything. Controls, come on. Hmm. Oh, I know. Not the screw first, then. Let's just. So the mystery here is that the guide that I'm looking at tells me that I need to put on a 7mm first. That's not it. But I don't see any 7mm bolts on it. Is 
Let's see, I've already tightened up those. I've already tightened up that. <clears throat> that just makes it move. I am very much confusion. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to move the alternator closer to the engine block. So by doing that... Now do I need to attach the fan belt? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> That's all I needed to do. So, I just need to tighten up everything else now. Tighten the two bolts to secure the alternator. Then adjust the belt tension by scrolling the mouse wheel. Let's see here. I'll just adjust it a little bit there. see any other bolts on here that I need to tighten up apart from the screw the wiki article that I'm reading is very very confusing I, too, I do tighten in this screw here okay engine plate goes on the side. Oop. There we go. Uh, that's the carburetor. Starter. Carburetor. Hey, Dr. Zen. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Chance Tries to Put Together an Engine. Because that is exactly what's happening right now. Welcome more specifically to where the fuck does this carburetor go? Oh. There it goes. Okay, so let's see the star needs two seven millimeter screws. If I can remember where the fuck I put them. Okay, starter. Just gonna fucking jump up onto the workbench here. Realistic finish and engineering action. Carburetor requires four eight millimeters. If I can see where they screw in. God, this workbench is a fucking mess. Oh, one of my headlights went flying off. Engine? Engine, what are you doing? Engine, what are you do? Okay. 
Come on. Let's grab and move. Let's just check the chat. There we go. All right, I've got this like, I've got the finish headbutt going on here. Ah, here we go. Carburetor. Uh, let's see, something was mentioned about. Let's see. All right, a ten millimeter after I put on the carburetor. For the assembly here, something like that. <sighs> Controls, I swear to Christ. Everything looks to be working as is. Although, God knows something's gonna fucking screw up. Let's see here, headers. Where are the headers? Ah, headers. And the headers require five, eight millimeters. Flywheel is six by seven. Once I can find it, flywheel. That's uh, seven. So. Almost. Well, tipped over for some reason. Uh, clutch disc to clutch cover plate, clutch pressure plate to clutch disc. Okay. Clutch disc to clutch cover plate. Oops. Wrong way. Uh, clutch disc. Let's see. Clutch presser plate to clutch disc. And I guess the entire clutch assembly goes on. Oh wait, no, I need six millimeter things. Wait, what? Did I get enough? Oh, there we go. over here.
Ah, man, space engineers. I I have a lot of trouble playing space engineers. I have no idea why. Like, I can't seem to wrap my head around space physics, I guess. I'm not a rocket surgeon. Okay, so that's everything there. Oil pan goes underneath the... Like, this part I remember from Car Mechanic Simulator. Oil pan goes under the crankshaft. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Is there an oil drain plug somewhere around here? I don't think there is. Oh wait, there's stuff down here as well. Battery, radiator, gear linkage. Okay, no, so the oil drain plug is just like that bit, that like big screw there. So oil pan is eight seven millimeters, which I am not using right now. Okay, see you when you get back, Math. Okay, so that's that part. And then an oil drain plug is a 13 millimeter. Okay. Okay. So next up is the gearbox. Where is that? Oh, so these are hubcaps for the wheels. Ooh, probably should have known about those sooner. Gearbox, there we go. Where's the key? Oh, yeah, got. Installing the gearbox is going to be an interesting challenge. There we go. Six, seven millimeters and one ten millimeter. I feel like I've got every screw in the gearbox, but I'm not 100% on that.
Hey, the entire engine assembly just fell down. It's okay, because I think I accidentally unscrewed one of these spark plugs. Just a little bit. No, okay, I'm good. Okay, every screw is looking nice and tight on the gearbox. Drive gear, alright. Ah, excuse me, heck up in. Alright, where's the drive gear? Ah, there it is. Welcome back, Neff. Drive gear is seven six millimeters, so See here. Motor hoist to block. Oh, okay, so this is going to be the interesting part. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how the hell the, how the hell the motor hoist works. I'm like looking for a tick or something like that to show up. Oh, lower the hoist until it is near the block, and then tighten the bolts to attach. Okay. These use ten millimeter bolts. Oops, I fell right down the fucking thing here. Oops, it's just gonna phase through my car. Don't mind me. Breaking reality. Oh hey, there we go. Somehow it worked. Okay. Yeah. Such riveting work, moving an engine into the car. Car's moving a little bit. Hmm. 
Oops, I don't want to punch. Let's just shove the car very gently over to one side. Okay, I think I'm fine. Uh, adjust the valves with a screwdriver. All right. Something about a valve tuning guide. I have no idea where the valves are. Let's take a look and see. Oh, that's my phone beeping. Couple of emails. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, No, it's the, the, the valves on the engine that I'm supposed to be tuning, somehow. But I believe that is the carburetor thing that I set up over here. Yeah, this dealy bopper over here. To be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> I was just hoping to God I can get this thing to work. Uh, I just like lower this in. Let me double check. I feel I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, so I've got everything gone. So I've got to mount the engine. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so I am at the right stage. Just need to get into the right spot. No, I don't want to punch. My god. Probably fucking destroying this car right now. Uh, let's see here. So it says that when the engine is in the right position, three bolts should mount, like, show up at the m engine mounting area. Oops. Am I using the 11 millimeter? No, I am not. Let's bring up the 11 millimeter. I feel like I'm not in the correct position. Nope. I've also managed to get myself fucking trapped under the car. Uh, come on. No, I don't want to punch. There. I managed to free myself. 
Don't mind that I apparently just hovered my hands a little bit. So move the motor hoist back a bit. Okay, bots will appear in the subframe. Alright. So, subframe is what I'm looking for here. Oh, fuck, right, I'm getting thirsty. That's what I was going to take care of. Should be looking around the subframe for what I'm needing. <gasps> oh, I got it. Engine's mounted. Nice. So I now need to undo the engine hoist with the 10 millimeter. I think. There we go. motor hoist back over here. Alright, let's see what needs to be done next. Half shaft to gearbox. So, let's see here. That requires 9 millimeters. It's funny, I'm actually getting kind of an understanding of how uh, cars work just by doing this.
I may be able to take this knowledge with me to other areas. Yeah, first I clip my head through everything, and then everything else works. Uh, let's see here. Oh, fuck, I forgot the... Let's see. Uh, rocker cover... Can I still put these parts in? Yes, I can. Okay. I fell down. Screw physics. Let's try that again. So yeah. Rocker cover goes on. Rocker cover needs seven millimeters. Here, fuel pump. Where is that? Fuel pump. I don't think I already installed that one. Oh, maybe over here. Because there's a fuel can here. Fuel tank. Clutch lining. Fuel tank pipe. Exhaust muffler. Oh, uh, air filters here. Where's the fuel pump then? I don't think I installed that already. Relatives having troubles with the cat. Okay, battery, radiator, fuel tank, fuel tank pipe. Where the hell's the fuel pump? Handbrake. Uh, let's see here. I'm getting questions about where the fuel pump goes, but I'm not seeing any questions about where the fuel pump fucking is. Uh, fuel strainer. Gear stick. Gear linkage. Gear stick. Yeah, fuel pump of the metal cylinder. There's an oil filter here. That needs to go on at some point. Not hiding under the boot lid. Wait, is it this fuel strainer thing? I have no idea. Or is it something else? Brake master cylinder. Oops, that's the radio. Uh, it is called My Summer Car. What the hell? I had, I had the sledgehammer this entire time. 
I had no idea. Oh god. Apparently the sledgehammer can be used to get dents out of the car. See if I can figure it out. Oops. Hmm. Oh, welcome back, Dr. Zen. I'm trying to undent the car. It's not going as planned. Uh, I haven't died yet, but I, I cannot seem to find the fuel pump. Yes, I know my character needs sleep. I'm trying to get this fucking dent out the front. But I keep falling through the fucking thing. Ah, for fuck's sake. Okay, so it's, it's not the fuel strainer. Oi! Sledgehammer down. Wow, well, the fucking dashboard went across the room. Oh, there's a fuel pump. Found it. It was hiding in amongst the electrics. I need to figure out if I can fucking install it without having to take out the entire engine again. God, this is the worst. I don't want to have to fucking remount the engine. All right, well, my character needs sleep, and he also needs to eat and drink. So I'll take care of that. I would spend some mouse until it stays there, but there's like a very specific location where everything needs to go. And the game signifies that to me by a tick showing up where my mouse should be. And if I click, if I like span, yeah, like span the mouse, or like span clicking, then I'm just gonna like lose, or I'm gonna like drop the part repeatedly. Use the bathroom super quick.
Oh, come on. Work with me now. There we go. From what I understand, it's not quite possible to die from lack of sleep just yet. The there's maybe a possibility that my character will fall asleep. And it's already Saturday, so when I sleep, it's going to be Sunday. So we basically, could just skip an entire day. Yep, I time traveled. <clears throat> Which sucks a little bit because I know that Saturday is like the day of the rally, but I don't think I'm going to be taking part in the rally just yet. Not with the car in this state, anyways. Okay, so back to what I was trying to do, which was I was trying to install the fucking fuel pump. Wherever the hell I left that. There it is. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I hate falling down here, like, constantly. I could probably operate from here. Ugh. Ah, oh. Hey, there we go. So I need a couple seven millimeter screws. Although, in this state, it's actually a little bit difficult to see where the screws go. I have to be very, very careful and look around to see what looks like it's sticking out. I almost had it. There we go. So that was a fuel pump, and then air filter is six millimeters. So air filter, I imagine, just goes right on top. Yep. Ah, for fuck's sake, keep falling down this pit. Okay, so now I have to hook up the chassis to everything else. Uh, oh, the steering rods need to be tightened up. Or something like that. Let's see here. 12. Oh, I already tightened up the steering rods. But I need to adjust them still. Okay, so it's 14 millimeters to adjust. Get it tweaked up later. Just double check with this one as well. Something like that. Alright, hubcaps. Let me go and put those on. 
hubcap rear left. I don't think these need tightened up. I just, they just like go on. They're entirely optional. Hubcap rear right. All right, that goes on. And then hubcap front right. Hey, that traveled a bit farther than I wanted it to. Hubcap front left. Pop that on. And we'll go over here, pick this one up. Pop that on. Nice. Alright. Uh, spark plugs already put in. Oh, the battery. Let you throw that in. That doesn't need to be tightened, thankfully. Uh, electrics do require two 8mm. Fuck's sake. Alright, <laughs> let's try that again. How does this go? I just need to I just need to get it close enough to get the tick. Hey, I bumped a car a little bit. Uh, Electrics to body. Hmm. This one's tough. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, I would push the car closer to the stair so I can reach him from the bottom, but like. Very difficult to do that, seeing as I, like, have to deal with actually getting it out from the stair. Oh, I saw a tick. Hang on a sec. There we go. I wasn't entirely sure what it was wanting me to do. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Fuel strainer. Oh, wait, I forgot to tighten the electronics. Uh, that is eight millimeters. Just tighten those in. Uh, fuel strainer. That would be this thing here. And that's my dog shoving my door open. <laughs> Where's the fuel strainer go? It's another one of these mysteries. Yeah, the fuel strainer probably goes near the fuel pump. Okay, give it to us. I'll put this on the table for just now. I need to shove the car forward a little bit again. Oh, no, not punch. Just gently push. Gently push. <laughs> gently push. Assorted crunching sounds. Break the laws of physics for a second there. I thought I saw a tick very briefly. Oh, 
also have to mind the spark plugs. Okay, I'm gonna look up a guide. <laughs> Position of the fuel strainer. Oh, okay. So it goes towards the left side of the car. Right. Mm. Oh, my around. There we go. Oh my god, all right. Yeah, I'm looking at a reference picture. It looks like it's meant to go on this side. But I'm not 100% sure on that. <sighs> yeah, the flat bit goes in the frame for sure. Christ almighty, this is tricky. Yeah, it fits at the right side of the engine. Tighten the fucker in. It's an eight millimeter. Is that an eight millimeter I've got right now? Yes, it is. Whew! Right. Radiator next. A rough idea of where that would go. go out. It's not a good sign. That probably means there's rough weather coming in. Yep, I'm hearing the rumbling now. Okay, there's a radiator. Which needs four seven mils. Of course, this side's banged up, so I'm gonna have a little bit of. Come on. 
can probably do this without having to attempt to undent the thing. Ooh. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to shove the car back out of the. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, mind, don't mind me breaking the laws of physics again. I've absolutely mangled the front of this thing. Come on. There we go. It's power going off again. I'm showing it back out so I can give it a bit of a wallop with the sledgehammer and fix up the body. Yeah, I fucked up that body, so I'm good. Okay. I've been told that the sledgehammer can be used to fix the body, but I'm not 100% on that. That appears to be making things a little bit worse. Hey. Okay, never mind the sledgehammer then. I don't quite have this thing running just yet. And I can't really take it down to the repair shop yet. But now that I've got it out here. I can Probably, there we go. That's what I was wanting to do. Um, Red, I've been told by various guys on Steam that the sledgehammer is there to fix the bodywork, but apparently that's a load of fucking bull. So, okay. Let's see here. Radiator, and I just put in the radiator hoses. That's one hose. That's two hose. Three hose. Okay, so I'm guessing radiator right hose one goes in first. One, radar at hose two. Not hundred percent sure where Red Air Host Two goes. I'm just going to face through the engine until I figure it out. Fuck's sake.
There's a zoom button I can find. I remember just to find out. There we go. This should help me get a better look at things, maybe. three goes. Okay, so that's ready or host three. Which will leave me with the question of where ready or host two goes, but I think I might have figured that out. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Fucking thing. Come on. Hose 2 attaches to host 3. Oh, yep. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. That's the right area hooked up. Oil filter. Which I imagine goes somewhere in the engine. Yeah, I'm gonna shove it back into the th thing. Let's see. I've got to mind where those wheels are gone. Tighten it on. Alright, cool. Clutch master cylinder and brake master cylinder. This should be interesting. Oh, it went in order underneath. how close the car is to falling into the fucking pit.
Yeah, thirst. F face through the fucking car. Come on, let me out. Hey, <laughs> physics. Oh, okay, so these go... I think I know where they go. We can get it fucking... Figure it out here. Ugh. Puzzles. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Same deal with the brake master cylinder. Okay, so one times nine and two times eight for each of them. Let's get the nine millimeters out of the way first. God damn, it's just fucking up the bodywork more and more. Okay, so the 9mm is over this side. Yeah, there we go. Same with the other one. And then the 8mm are on the engine base side. There we go. Okay, seven millimeters next for the clutch and brake lines. Once I figure out where the hell these are supposed to go. I know I had a clutch line somewhere around here. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there it is. Clutch lining. Uh, no, it's the exhaust down in the pit. I 
guys. Where did these go? I imagine they would be... Oh, there we go. That's one. See where one of the bolts is. Which means that the other bolt would probably be wherever this connects. So, right and down. There it is. And now for the brake lining, which I imagine goes roughly the same way. Crap, I'm losing count how many screws I've got to tighten in here. Uh, I think I got all of them. There was eight screws meant to be, or eight uh, nuts that needed to be tightened. Right, one, two, three. Yeah, it was like one, two, three, four over here, and then one for each wheel. So that's the brake lining in. my phone again. Oh crap, yeah, I'm I'm missing a bunch more connections for the
Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Fucking power going out constantly. Okay, I want to say I got all of the brake line things. Brake line bolts eight times nine millimeter. Oh, fuck. All right. So I got all the I got all the small brake line ones. Okay, all the slightly bigger brake line ones now. Fucking power. Brake line at wheel one each four times seven millimeters. Brake line bolt eight times nine millimeters. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that. 10 millimeter for the steering wheel. Fuel tank, seven times 11 millimeters. Imagine the fuel tank goes somewhere in the bank. Yep. Okay, that's that part. Let's see here, gear stick is six. 
What is that? That's a fuel tank pipe. Where's a fuel tank pipe come in? Oh, that comes in later. Okay. Gear stick. Come on, gear stick. Where do you want to go? You want to go there. That's right. Am I using the six millimeters? I think I am. Maybe I'm not. Let me double check. Yeah, no, I'm not. That'll be my problem there. I still thought Rob has his uh, video. This was pretty funny, by the way. Like his his handbrake kept falling out, even during his fucking car inspections. He's just like, "Oh, the handbrake fell out." Okay, gear stick, gear linkage. It'll be this thing here. I th imagine the gear linkage goes underneath. Oh, almost. Almost. I got to take a couple times there. Come on, you finicky bugger. What if I just like straight up fucking break the laws of physics? There we go. Although now I don't know where the, f where the gear linkage gets tightened in. Uh, Gear Lincoln's needs 5mm. I'm gonna guess, that, you know, I'm gonna go underneath the car, just in case. Oh yeah, there's a the gear linkage. for the dashboard now. That will take care of my hunger and thirst real quick. By the way, if you don't think I have enough food here, which I kind of sort of do. Let's see here. Um, I actually have a fuck ton more food in the fridge. I just forgot to like stock my fridge currently with what I have. Uh, no, I said the uh, I said there was three is uh, three of five millimeters. Oh wow, I got all sorts of people on the uh, stream. So thank you all for coming along. This has been fun. Uh, I'm going to continue.
I just need to check and see how long I have been streaming. Two and a half hours, Jesus. Right, let's just bring up the stream chat again. Thank you all for being incredibly patient with me as I attempt to, as I attempt to build a car. Eventually, I'll have you know I'll get the hang of it and I'll be able to you know do this a little bit faster next time. So there's a the dashboard. Plug that on. Turn it up. Uh, RPM gauge or clock. We can work with either one. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with the RPM gauge. Actually, no, you know what? I don't care about performance. I'm going to be making this like. I'm, like, you can choose whether you want to make it like a rally performance car or like if you wanted to like bring it to industry standard, like factory standard. So I am going to put in the clock once I actually put down the fucking fittings for the gauges. Dashboard meters, here we go. Dashboard meters need. Uh, two by six millimeters. Although, actually, give me a sec. I think I need to actually. Yeah, I need to put the. What I want into the thing first. Maybe. No? Thought I did. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Here we go. So, like, plug that in. Tighten it up on this side with some seven millimeters. Uh, to get it to rally standards, you sort of order, like, aftermarket rally parts. <coughs> and then you fit them to the car. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Nice, fancy looking clock. Let's put that onto the dashboard. Wow, this thing's actually kind of coming together. I'm very pleased with it. Dashboard mirrors two times six millimeters. This is something I would like to do for real sometimes, is like put together like a little junker car out of different bits and pieces. Ready up. Let's see here. Plug in the radio. There we go. Purely there for somebody to steal it later, probably. Uh, headlights, seven millimeters each. And I've already put in the grill and the bumpers, so that's fine. God, this thing is a mess. The meter? Which meter? There's a lot of meters. If you're talking about the RPM meter, um, I forewent that in favor of the clock. Because I figured a better meter would be what time is it in the day. Got the fenders on. Let's see here, boot lead needs six millimeters. Oh, 
be. Let's try that again. Uh, doesn't want to go on. Oh, wait, no, maybe it did go on. Yeah, so let's try that again. There we go. So the boot lid needs to be tightened with six millimeter. No, is it? Oh fuck, I forgot the seats and the handbrakes and everything. Do that real quick then. Uh, and the fuel tank pipe. Okay, let's see here. Radio headlights, grill, bumpers, driver, passenger seat. Nine millimeters each for the seats. The rear bumper fell off. I, t I tanked it in and everything. God damn it. Let's try that again. Oh, no, the, it was the fenders that go on. Okay. Oh my god, I'm damaging the car just by pushing it. Some of the seat is still in place. Yep, alright. No, I do not tighten the seats from underneath. <clears throat> Bumpers need 8 millimeters. I'll try and put the bumper back on. Back up. Same on this side. Hey, there we go. Oh, I see where the bootleg needs to be tightened up. Maybe. I think we need to get into the car proper to tighten up the boot lid. Turn off the boot lid. By phasing through time and space, apparently. Let's turn off this light for just a second. See the glowing of the bolts a little bit better once I get it right. As counterintuitive as, counterintuitive as that sounds. Oh. There we go, I got a bit of a glow somewhere around here. Uh, 
There we go. And I know where they are for the other side, so I can just <clears throat> use my psychic screwdriver to put them in. There we go. Oh, what? It just straight up fell off again. I thought I turned it up. Let's try it again. No, it fucking stand. Come on. It's one. Means other ones somewhere around here. This girl just wall hacks. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I've already got to sleep in the game. I tried that, but I couldn't quite—I couldn't quite reach it. So I'm just sort of wall hacking in the meantime. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll—I'll I'll try your suggestion. Yeah, because there's a bit that goes up there. It's really, really hard for me to actually reach the screws or the bolts. So I can reach in from the rear lights. Uh, you cannot die from dirt in this reactive. Um, let's see here. Can I open this up now? Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, sweet. I will get surrounded by flies and stuff like that, so it's not going to be pleasant, but I won't die. Oop. God, I'm just completely destroying this car. Uh, so I forgot the... well, the doors, of course. Door left. <laughs> Four times ten millimeters each. That's twelve. See, so I'll just go in through the passenger side real quick. Where do I tighten up these doors? Oh, I guess I, I guess I tighten them from the outside. Yeah, they're there. Oh right, the handbrake I forgot to put on. <laughs> That's an important thing.
Ah, oh, fuck. Ooh. For a second there, I thought I'd fallen into the pit. Yeah, the spray, uh, the spray cans work. I'm just uh, getting the body work all fixed up first. Okay, handbrake is four eight millimeters and one five millimeter. Let's see if I can sort out that five millimeter first. Because that's probably going to be my undoing if I don't discover it sooner than later. There we are. This little fucker here. Oh yeah, I could totally, I could totally do like a logistic, uh, like paint job, like custom paint job if I like edited the textures. Right now, I can just, uh, I can just like color the cars. But yeah, I see the logistic colors right there. So I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, so I can either go for a bank panel or a subwoofer panel. I think I'm just gonna go for the bank panel. Cause like I said, I, I wanna I wanna make this like factory condition for the most part. Just need to There we go. Plop that in. Make this fucking subwoofer panel for if I wanna be a a douche just like riding down the road blasting Eurobeat. Uh, Alright, exhaust pipe. This is gonna be a pain. Uh, jack up one side of the car with the floor jack. Attach the exhaust pipe near the handbrake. Two bolts at the head or one in the rear. Welcome back, Dr. Zen. Okay, so floor jack, which has been sitting out for god knows how long. Let's see, load the jack fully. Okay. <laughs> you can download a car. Uh, okay. Keep the door closed. Well, this will be an interesting challenge. I was probably just doomed myself. Part of the challenge here is going to be figuring out which way the fucking exhaust pipe goes. Though I want to say that it probably doesn't go the way that I put it. Gently push the car forwards so I can sneak in underneath again. Go! Oh my fucking Christ. Alright. <clears throat> um. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, so I want to say that this side goes to like underneath the engine. <clears throat> okay, I'm luring this. I'm also going to very, very carefully push it backwards real quick. No, not punch, just push. And the thing that I didn't want to happen just happened. <sighs> Fell into the fucking pit. Alright. I got this. Speaking of. Alright. Move aside, beer. Oops. It's probably okay. It's probably fine. Like I said, probably fine. Not, I keep pushing things where I don't want to push them. There we go. Okay, let's see, I can use the external camera for this. Alright, phew. Also, apparently I'm invisible. The game cannot comprehend my true nature. Check my stream real quick. Yeah, stream froze for me as well, actually. Let's go refresh that real quick. Okay, yeah, looks like I'm looks like I'm back. Okay. Again with the punch. Push it gently to the side. Bring it forward. Push it gently to the other side. Bring it forward. I said forward. No wheel. Hang on a sec. I got this. This fucking wheel. Wants to go into the fucking pit. There we go. Although the way Robbies did it, he just used the van to like gently shove the uh, car into the garage. I never thought of that myself. Come on. 
gently. I mean, firmer than that, but still gently. What is holding it up? Probably the fact that it's almost in the pit again. Okay, yeah, I think I might need to get this mechanically assisted. Gently, gently, there we go, just a little bit of polite yet firm encouragement. Alright, we're good. Whew, right. So back to the puzzle at hand, which was getting the exhaust pipe in. I'm just going to Google this real quick, as I've been doing for most of my things here. My summer car exhaust pipe. I guess I could try installing the muffler first. Apparently that's a thing you can do. Might give me a better idea of where the exhaust pipe needs to go. So where's the exhaust muffler? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure on this. Nope, it fell off. But that gives me a rough idea of where things need to be. I'll give it another go. No, it's not going to go. But that at the very least gives me a clue as to how this needs to be angled. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, now that the car's like straightened up a little bit, I'm gonna try using the floor jack again. Probably other side of the car, seeing as I know where the muffler wants to go. Just very carefully. That in. Huh. 
Okay. Don't like this wobbling like that, but I'm gonna have some food real quick. Oh, by the way, supplies. All sorts of supplies. All right. I'm gonna be a lazy boy and just drink from the tap. Uh, use the bathroom. I'll check messages in the meantime. Oh god, I jumped. <laughs> that must have been unpleasant. Just splash that everywhere. There we go. Let's see here. So I just need to. Yes! IP pixels! Shush. I do what I want. I am going to get the sauna ready for uh, later, for when I no longer want to be a ready dirty boy. Okay, please don't have just like fallen over. Well, okay, good. So let's see if I can get the muffler into place again. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got the muffler in place. Uh, what's the muffler need to be tightened? One seven millimeter. All right. As far as the game is concerned, my character doesn't actually exist. He's invisible. He was invisible when I went into the third person earlier. While driving the van. Okay. Whereabouts on this muffler does it want me to tighten up? Right there. So with that in mind, let's see. Oh, did I get a tick somewhere there? Oh, oh. Nice. Okay, so the exhaust pipe also needs seven millimeters. Okay, I said it needed three bolts. Two bolts at the header, one in the rear. Alright. Is that it? Yes it is. Maybe. That might be another bolt for something else that I forgot to tighten up. No, I think, yeah, no, that was the one for the exhaust. Okay. Okay, exhaust is, exhaust is good. Phew. Let's go ahead and release the floor jack. Very carefully. Again, with the punch, I pushed the wrong part of the car. Okay. Oh. All right. See you later, Dr. Zen. Thank you for stopping by. I'll try, I can't make any promises. Okay, let's try this 9mm again. I need to tighten in the seat. I want to get this thing at the very least drivable, so I'm probably just going to install the... Uh, we're just going to install the driver's seat. Now I can deal with the other seats later. Okay, there we go. I'm certainly going to try. I'm going to try and get it operational at the very least.
Okay, so we got the fenders installed. Fender left goes over there. Fender right goes over here. Yeah, I got it fell off. Try that again. Okay, what do the fenders need? Fenders need five millimeters. Okay. <clears throat> oh, whoa. that was weird. So vendors need five five millimeters bolts. I only found two so far. Let's see if we can find the rest. Some good old fashioned investigation. Okay, there's three. Four and five would probably be around here. Well, where's that last fender bolt? There it is. No, it's not. Never mind. Is it around the back? <sighs> okay, that one's in. Oh, there it is. Five. So it shouldn't be as hard to find all the fenders for this, or for all the bolts for this fender. Maybe. One. Two. Oh yeah, that's easy enough. Three. Four. Come on. See there. Five. All right, sweet. Uh, <clears throat> hood is six millimeters. Get the rest of the seats installed later. Now, where's the hood screw in? Oh, here apparently. One, two, three, and four. There we go. 
which now means it should be able to pop the hood somehow. Ah, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Just like Jalopy. <clears throat> okay. So engine fluid, so clutch. Okay. I'm not entirely sure which one I'm filling up here. Come on. That's it, just drop it. for fuck's sake. Oh, well it's empty. God damn it, Tally. This one empty as well? No, it's still got some in it. Okay, no. <laughs> this bitch empty. Yeet! <laughs> there. I did it. So those two are full. Alright, so that's all that filled up. Let's see here. Now I need to remove the coolant cap on the radiator. Ah, oh, fuck. F phased right through my engine again. There we go. Let's leave it there. Alright, 
Okay, so that's filled up. There we go. Let's see. I do not yet have a gas cover for my uh, car. I don't know when I got that. Maybe maybe I got it eventually. <laughs> TM. Yeah, I'm missing a few parts, but as far as I'm aware, they're non-essential. Wait, tube in the ground. Oh. Uh, thank you for informing me about that. Uh, is the fuel tank pipe <laughs> non-essential my arse? All right. At the very least, this doesn't need to be screwed in. I just need to figure out where it has to go. Oh, it probably goes... Oh, yep. There we go. And as far as I'm aware, that doesn't actually need anything, like, plugged in. Alright, the brake lights as well. From what I can tell, the rear lights don't actually need to be screwed in or anything. Sure as hell hope not, anyways. Let me double check though. Yeah, no, they just they just plug in. Alright, time for the moment of truth. Actually, I should probably pop the hood because I'm going to need to use the screwdriver. Oh, yeah, no gas. Oops. Is that filling? Why is it? Oh, it is filling. I just need to get the right spot to like, properly fill it. Come on. It's having a little bit of trouble cooperating with me here. There we go. Let's see how much that fills me up. It should be enough to get me to 
the town at any rate. Yeah, so that's all I've got in the can, but it's enough to get me where I need to go. So let's just put that in there. Right, moment of truth for proper this time. And I'm going to pop the hood just in case because I will need to do some adjustments. Who is. Let's see here. Um, event shouldn't be too much in the way. If anything, I'm glad it's there. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it runs, but it's also whining, which means I need to mess about with the alternator. Try that. Ooh, that's sounding good. All right, let's tighten it up and see how it behaves. Try it again. Hey, it runs. Sweet. All right. Close the lid. Get myself some beer. Speaking of which, that's where I had something to eat and drink before I head out. All right, here we go. First ride. Oh yeah, break. Um. Oh, it's kind of moving. Oh, it's in reverse. Or it, it was in neutral. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, the steering is not quite. Did I not link up the steering? Well, it kind of runs. <laughs> Something's going a little bit wonky with the steering, though. So. At least from what I can tell. Brakes aren't working, the steering isn't working. Hmm. 
handbrake's working. Let's got that going for it. Okay. So I'm going to have to get out and check, see what's wrong. Oh, I did have to... Yeah, what was it? I had to sort out some stuff with the steering parts of the... Can't see here. Pop open the hood. Okay, so there's a steering rack. The steering column, everything's tightened up there. There's also the problem with the brakes. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I've got an almost functional car. So it is 12 millimeters, I think, to adjust the, no, it's 14, I think, to adjust the steering nuts. Same for this side. Okay, so I will move the van out of the way super quick. See, I did get the steering wheel figured out. Maybe. Why is it not steering and why are my brakes not braking? <sighs> Okay, well, the important part to figure out right now is the steering. So we've got the steering column, we've got the steering rack. Everything is fit up as it should be. Hmm, it's my phone. Okay. Just an email. Uh. Hmm. Let's see, how long have I been streaming anyways? Almost three and a half hours. Uh, I could always give it a break here and figure out how to, uh, how to steering later. 
probably missed something important, but I took everything off the shelves except for the uh, RPM gauge. Let's see, didn't need the passenger seat. I think the brakes issue is because of the brake nuts. I haven't gotten all of them. Say here. Dive right in here. So the thing is, I didn't notice any 9mm bolts on the uh, brake lines, so I'm not entirely sure what's wrong there. I'll gently lower the hood and. Let's see here. Well, 
I don't know. I think I'm going to wrap up the stream there. But uh, thank you all for coming by. I think I might try starting over from the from scratch. And, like, actually properly watch a guide. But the fact that I was able to get this far, just from, a, like, a written guide, is pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, thank you all for coming along to watch me play a little bit of uh, Finland Simulator 1995. Yeah, let's just move back over here. Um, I will be continuing this. As I said, I'll probably start a new save and just figure things out from the start. And yeah. Thank you for watching. I shall catch you guys later. And I'm probably going to wait awkwardly for like 15 seconds while uh, everything else sort of figures itself out. <laughs> As stream lag is wont to do.